Jill for uh, okay. accompanying me, and thank you, Harry, for helping me get all set up here. Uh, tonight we're going to do a song called From Galway to Graceland. And you have to talk about the songwriter a little bit, and then we'll talk a little bit about the song so that you can understand the flow of the song. Songwriter Richard Thompson. Oh, who yeah. is a English songwriter, been writing songs since, I suppose, about 1970 or thereabouts. Uh, a lot of rock songs, but he has done several really fine story songs. Now, his signature song is 52 Vincent Black Lightning, uh, and a lot of people have covered that song. You may even be familiar with it. Dave Debit did it on the stage here a few years ago. Uh, the sidebar of that song, 52 Vincent Black, Black Lightning is a motorcycle. And the sidebar story is because of that song, it turned that motorcycle into a collector's item. Mm -hmm. And if you go on YouTube, there is one auction where one of those sold for $830,000. Oh, wow. <laughs> then there's another sh uh, hit on YouTube where one sold for over 900000 So anyway, how about uh, some interesting consequences of a song? <laughs> okay, that's uh, Richard Thompson. Uh, the song from Galway to Graceland. Galway is a town in western Ireland. Graceland is the uh, <coughs> estate, Elvis Presley estate. Mm -hmm. That's where Elvis Presley, his parents, and one grandparent is buried. Next to that, there's a, there's a memorial there for his stillborn twin. Uh, his stillborn twin is actually buried in Tupelo, Mississippi, but anyway, he is, a, he is recognized there at the, at the Graceland estates. <coughs> Okay, the song. You have a middle-aged lady who is in a very troubled marriage and a very unhappy life. And to soothe her pain, she fantasizes that she is married to Elvis Presley. <laughs> <laughs> and she uses that fantasy there uh, to be, you know, to be more comfortable, and eventually she says, hey, I'm going to do something about this. So she goes to Graceland and spends her days at Elvis's grave. And then in the end, she's a very troubled person, in the end they take her away and put her in an institution. So anyway, uh, we'll give it a try. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, she dressed in the dark. Silver 
Vine and Rape was in, at Red Rocks a couple years ago, and Richard Thompson opened for her, and she has done several of his songs yes, as well. Yeah. That was great. Jim M. and Billy. Yeah.